presenting. Are you remote? Can you hear us? Yes, can hear you. Yes, thank you. We can hear you as well. Thanks so much. Okay, it's uh, four o'clock, so we're going to get started. Uh, welcome back. This is actually our first lecture. Last week was logistics, but now that uh, things are starting to get uh, taken off, I need to go through logistics a little bit, and then Michael will take over lecturing for week one. Okay, to be clear, last week we had a public part of this where that uh, session is recorded and put on YouTube. Uh, anyone can watch it. So you have friends who want to come to the class that are not able to make it, they can watch the public version, okay? The ones uh, who are on remote, I think there are about 10 of us on remote, as well as everyone in this room, of course you can watch the whole thing, um, but there will be parts today, just like last week that are not going to be paired, uh, archived publicly. So Michael has uh, a larger set of slides that he will be sharing with you, but it's not going to be recorded. Uh, we are going to sanitize the slides uh, that are put out. So even the ones that are now in Slack that I put there, those are um, just for the first part of the, the lecture. Okay, there's a lot more that Michael will go over later. Michael, is that right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, Michael goes by Chitza as well. So I, I actually don't know what to call you. So I'll just Michael call you. Uh, Michael? Okay. Yeah. So Michael. All right. So um, I want to make it clear how we're going to work for this class. Okay, so uh, last week I told you to fill out this worksheet. So all of us have gone ahead and filled this out. So uh, I will be making adjustments to the allocations, but I just want to be clear about this. Now, all of you have declared, hopefully, uh, what type of student you are. If you're not sure, let me know. Okay, you can ask me because I'll be just sitting around here. You can message me in Slack, okay? And then you can get clarification. Again, anyone doing it for DYOC, Okay, two or four MC needs to be here the entire class. Those are doing it for two, uh, which is now I think CP3106, if I'm not wrong, uh, gets to lecture and support one time. Those of us doing it for four have to do it two times, okay? My group members need to do it for two times, both two lectures and two supports. Everyone else does it for one. Okay, so if you're a 6101 student, PhD student, as a lab rotation in CS, you have to pick either the first half of the semester or second half, okay? So that means both of your choices for lecture as well as support should either be in the pastel tones or dark tones. That indicates whether it's first or second half, okay? Now, once you've filled out this, many of you have already done that, I will then allocate you. So the allocation is here on the right, okay? But right now, I haven't finished allocating. I just picked out all the values you guys asked, guys asked for and then put them in the four columns there, okay? So you'll see that there's a, a presenter um, for the first uh, lecture, presenter for the second lecture, if you're doing two duties, save for support. Okay, and if I've uh, declared this okay, that means those are the, your assigned ones, okay? Some people may have not filled it in correctly, or, and you can check this yourself, you can go to this other spreadsheet, okay? This one is a pivot table. It just counts how many people have opted for certain things, okay? What does that mean? We have nobody who wants to talk about modeling. That's a problem, right? 
Okay, doesn't mean we get to like not have class. Okay, it just means that I'm going to take some of us who would prefer to talk about scaling, fine tuning, and training and parallelism, and shift some of you out. Okay, so if you are asked by me to go to another lecture, please help and comply with that. Okay, all right. So you'll see by the end of lecture, this table will be almost all uniformly pink or whatever color average is. Okay, because I'm gonna have to smooth out the distribution by hallucinating data samples, okay? That's what I'm going to do, all right? So I need you to comply with that. What does it mean, okay? It means that if you're assigned, for example, to uh, week two, okay? This is next week, just seven days from now, okay? Uh, because over here, I have indicated like for this particular lady in my group, Unfortunately, she asked for uh, number one, which is today's lecture, but because Michael and myself are taking care of this, she's allocated to number two, okay? So if you find later on that I put your number here and it doesn't correspond to what you wrote because it's in paint background color, that means I have forced you to do a different class than you wanted, okay? Now, what do you do with this information? You go back to Slack, okay? So for example, here, you will see that there are a number of these preparation channels, okay? Let's go to next week's preparation channel, okay? At the top, there are slides, okay? I'm gonna click on that. Here we go. These are the week two slides, okay? There are nothing here, okay? Just a placeholder, and some idea about how to use slides, okay? Like use a body slide, put citations like this, use LaTeX to write equations, put an outline slide every once in a while, make it very easy to be visible so it's easy to scrub in a video, okay? That's all, all right? And for this uh, scribe document is also here, all right? So you click on that, it goes to a scribe document. It looks exactly like the one for today that I put on the general channel, okay? All of us should always open the scribe document when we come to class and assist the scribing or support team by scribing information. It can get messy, okay? Because you have 40 people writing on one piece of paper, okay? But it can be done, all right? We just, after a while, you get used to it, all right? So uh, my hope is that even now, some of you are on the week two, uh, week one scribing document and helping to write down what I'm saying about how the procedure is working so that the lecturing team who is actually taking care of giving the lecture can concentrate on their job, okay? And all of us in the rest of the class and the support team can canonicalize all the notes for uh, week one's lecture, okay? So uh, you can see that here, this is the scribe document. Some of you are already on it, okay? So that means if you write even one letter, put your name on the scribing document, okay? Um, I've already set up all these links so they go to the appropriate places, okay? And that's how we will work. Do we have any questions? Okay, so with that, I'd like to invite uh, Michael, uh, Chita, Michael, to come and uh, talk about uh, the slides that are public. And then after that, we'll come back to um, the private deck, right? Okay. We can just use the private deck. Okay, we'll just use the private deck. Okay, so I find the private deck. Yeah, I like this uh, scribing process. It's like distillation, right? So it's like you have a model that uh, so it's like when you, for example, like when you learn to do the writing, um, actually it is a very good practice to mimic a good writer. So you actually, after like reading a paper, you will be amazed by how much you will forget. But like when you try to reproduce the, uh, thanks, me, the paper, you will find that there are so many details in the paper that you uh, that you don't know, but like this is kind of distillation. So yeah, today uh, I'm gonna talk about. So since this is a lab course, um, a significant a significant part of the course is also going to be about research. So it's not a 
It's not only about introduction. Oh, wait. Um, yeah. Is this the right deck? The way you stop. Stop. Yeah. stop the back. Yeah. So um, my eyes hurt a little when I like uh, look into these uh, lights. So I'm wearing sunglasses. Um, okay. Yes. Okay. That's that's okay. Okay. So first, what is a language model? Language model is. Let me stop it in 